Last year, I spoke with Dr. John Master Chitaro about the new insulin pump that is paired up with a CGM called the 530G within light. I had to try it. I needed to see what this particular contraption can do for me. Full disclosure, I need to be honest that my trial period didn't last beyond maybe a day or so. That's because there's only a 2% dropout rate in the entire trials, and I think I might have been that 2%. Because in order to get good information, well, I went out to look for people that have been wearing it longer than a few weeks. <laughs> and sure enough, I was able to find enough people to give me information about the good, the bad, and the can be improved things about it. What I can share of my experience is that when I was hooked up with the Inlight, the woman who put it on me told me, oh, you'll love this one so much better than her old one. The old one, people didn't like it. She's right. I heard from a few people. People who had worn the first generation Medtronic CGM, it caused bruising. It was inaccurate. They just basically would rather not wear it than wear one and just totally be bothered by by it. Not with the Enlight. Medtronic has cleared up that problem. It's a lot smaller, it's more accurate, and hey, that's always a good thing. As far as the 530G goes, there are less perks than previous generations of the Medtronic pumps. I wore the Medtronic pump from 1999 to 2009. I was a very happy Medtronic pump wearer. Whatever these little perks are, they no longer exist in the 530G. It's been cleaned up. Very good. The battery life is longer. The AAA battery that goes into the Medtronic pump lasts longer. Yay! <laughs> okay, some of the things that can still be worked on. <laughs> the Enlight sensor doesn't quite last for six days. Around day five, five and a half, the accuracy begins to dwindle on the CGM. For those of us that wear CGMs, Range is a big thing for us. Range is an issue. And range means it's not always attached to your hip. Wearing it when she first put it on me that day, she said, make sure you keep the pump close to it, like on the same side of your body that you have the inlet. I was like, really? Okay, fine. It is the insulin pump, so obviously it has to be close. If you are familiar with the Medtronic pumps, your CGM screen is your insulin pump screen. If you have eagle eyes, it's good for you. <laughs> but if you use the magnifying app on your phones, you might need to be using that this time around. Another thing that one of the readers told me about the particular sensor is that the alarms, and I experienced this the first night I was wearing it also, the predictive low alerts and the alarms they're incessant. I mean, once they start going off, they go off. Case in point, you know, if you have a predictive alert and you say, okay, fine, you know, I'll, you know, I'll take some juice and then set a um, temperature rate, that seems to work for most of us, but the the 530G with a light is kind of not okay with it. So if sleep is important to you when you are wearing the 530G with a light, this generation of it, um, you might be losing out on some sleep. Just saying. Also, because the Enlight sensor is much smaller than the previous generation, um, if you, I don't want to say if you're an MMA fighter, you should be cautious of that, but if you like, if you wiggle around a lot, <laughs> you might be, um, knocking your CGMs loose, so... Also be cautious about that. Like I said, I was excited to try this product out because I spoke with Dr. John Master Tatara last year on my podcast. Maybe the 530G with Enlight is not the best thing for me right now, but it will be someday. <laughs> well, my podcast, I put them out on the Diabetes e-newsletter, and you can subscribe to that at alliesvoice.com.
Or if you have a show idea or you'd like to hear more about specific research, tweet me at Allie's Voice, subscribe here on YouTube, and I'll see you next time.